everybody, welcome back to So Me Sunshine. Today's video is gonna be showing you some of our new dead stock fabric. So if you follow us on social media, you would have seen that last week we got a really exciting, massive delivery from Italy, full of loads of exciting ex-designer fabrics from well-known high-end brands. So we've taken a few fabrics from that, um, shipment for this collection and then we've also added some more dead stock fabric from a previous shipment from Italy. So they're all high-end dead stock, they're all um, from well-known high-end ex-designers and the reason they've ended up with us is either that they've obviously printed too much fabric, they've trialled out a print on a different type of substrate which means different type of fabric before deciding on that kind of scale or colour and then doing it on a final different type of fabric or they've just trialled it just to see if it would fit into their collection. So if legally I can't tell you where things are from but if you do some clever searching online you can normally work it out. But regardless of where it was from originally um, they're really beautiful fabrics and we've got a nice range of different styles and different types of fabrics for you today. So this is the first fabric I've got to show you. We love this one in the studio, we just think love the bright green grass background. So we picked this one today because it's still got quite a bit of summer vibe to it. We're still clinging on to summer here in the UK but it's still very versatile throughout seasons because obviously you'd be able to layer it, um, which is what I tend to do with all my dresses um, for the autumn winter time. So this is 100% viscose, it's a viscose crepe. So it is, it's got a slight, what I'd call a classic crepe texture to it. It's very lightweight. It's got a very fluid, lovely drape to it. So it'd be really good for sewing dresses with gathers or with tears. It is very, very, very slightly sheer, um, but because of the green background, I personally wouldn't line it. I'll just go with the way it is. Um, but yeah, very, very slightly sheer. And although it does have a direction to the print, I don't think you'd need to follow the direction either. It's a nice and wide fabric as well. And it's, yeah, it's really luxurious to touch and to feel. I really love this one. So we thought it would work really well for one of my favorite patterns, which is the Roscoe by True Bias. I wear my Roscoe all the time and I really really love it I had it on yesterday it's a really nice and comfy dress pattern and um, like I said you could just layer it up with some tights and a cardi when it's a bit chillier so if you're not a floral person then this fabric might be a bit more up your street so it has this beautiful pale blue background and then it's covered in this gorgeous tree design I think there might be pine trees but yeah, so it, they are a direction. They flow this way up the fabric and then you've got some green and rust tone elements to it. So it's really, really, really pretty. Um, definitely a bit more autumnal fabric. And as Jenny just pointed out as well, it's not overly like festive fabric, but it's definitely a very wintry fabric. So it's really lovely. It's also a viscose, but unlike the one I've just shown you, it's what I call more of a medium weight. So it's not as lightweight as the last one. It's a, a viscose lawn, so it's really, really soft to touch and it feels like a cotton lawn. And although it's got this pale blue, blue background, it's completely opaque, but because it's a viscose, it still has that lovely drape and movement. So it would work really well again as a dress or a blouse, but what we thought would be really lovely in this and it would be so nice and comfy for being at home was to make a pair of pyjamas. So we really love the Nina Lee Piccadilly pyjamas. We just think they've got some really lovely features on it, a little bit different to your average pair of pyjamas and they'd be really, really luxurious and lovely to wear in bed or just hanging out around the house and um, they'd also make a really nice gift as well if you're thinking about um, festive sewing now I'm not sure if you are or not <laughs> but if you are they'd make a lovely gift so 
I have fallen in love with this fabric. It is so beautiful. I forgot this one arrived um, and Jenny picked it out and it's just gorgeous. And um, what's really special about all the X designer fabrics we get in, sometimes we get some really amazing um, blends of different fabrics. And this is actually a cotton silk blend, which is really special. So it's so silky to touch, very luxurious feel. It is incredibly lightweight and has a really, really beautiful fluid drape to it. It's just, you just want to wrap yourself in it. It's so pretty. Um, obviously, it's got this very, what I'd call kind of, I don't know, like a new, very neutral background colour to it. And it's covered in this large floral design. Um, if I just bring it up here, that's my hand for scale. So it is a big floral design, but there's no direction to it. So that you wouldn't have to worry about that. And it's not a narrow fabric either. Now, because of the uh, blend of fabric and the fact that it's very, very lightweight, it is sheer. So again, it would depend if you'd want to wear what you make with it. You might want to wear a vest or a slip dress or something underneath. Or obviously you do have the option to line as well. But we in the office are absolutely loving, you know, the big gathered dresses that are very fashionable at the moment. And then they're actually made with a sheer fabric and then you can wear a little slip dress underneath. So we thought it would work amazingly well for one of our favourite patterns here at Sew Me Sunshine, which is the Friday Pattern Company Wild Again, um, which actually the sample at the front is actually made in a sheer fabric. And like I said, you just could wear something underneath or obviously you do have the option to line it. But yeah, I'm. this is just so beautiful <laughs> and such a special fabric. So this is what I'd say a bit more autumnal for you. So it's more transitional just because of the darker colours on it. So this is a beautiful khaki green background and then it's covered in these beautiful tigers and the tigers aren't huge if you see there's my hand there for scale and they look like they've been painted onto the fabric it's a really beautiful illustration of the tiger and very yeah very very beautiful this is actually a cotton lawn so it'll be lovely breathable fabric it's nice and soft to touch has a bit of drape but obviously not as much as what you'd expect with a viscose so it does hold some structure to it so it lends itself more to like a more structured kind of dress or top or you could again make pajamas with it but we thought it'd make a lovely like shirt or a shirt dress and one of our favorites out at the moment is the i am patterns irma so you've got the choices of two different lengths there for you. And um, so you could go for the like more tunic length and just pair it with some tights when it's a bit chillier. Or you could go for more of a blouse length and then pair it with like jeans or uh, trousers or something like that. It Obviously the tigers, as you can see, do run across the fabric. So they are, it is a directional print, so it's something to bear in mind. But it's a nice wide fabric. Um, so that's good. You don't have to worry too much about the width, but yeah, just bear in mind with the when you're cutting out your pattern, you'll want to follow the direction, otherwise, you'll have upside down tigers. Um, but yeah, this is really, really beautiful, and it's a lovely kind of neutral and work, will work really well as we transition to the colder months. So we've gone back to a viscose. So this is again, this is a viscose lawn. So it feels like a cotton lawn. This one's very silky to touch, very luxurious to feel to it. Has a beautiful drape, which is absolutely stunning. And at first glance, it almost looks like it's obviously got the lovely rich red background and it's covered in these white polka dots. But actually the polka dots are little tiny weeny little hearts that are scattered all over the fabric. So it's really, really beautiful, really fun, a little bit different to your kind of classic polka dot design. A lovely, lovely fabric. It's completely opaque, so you wouldn't have to worry about lining it. And obviously it's lovely small print with no direction to it. And the fabric's lovely and white too. So this fabric would lend itself really well to lots and lots of dress patterns out there. But we have chosen today the By Hand London Hannah dress. 
so you actually have got your dress or you could go for the top version and for both versions this fabric would work really well and again it would transition really well through obviously the end of summer to when it starts to get a bit colder and it would work really well paired with some tights as well this is a beautiful high quality cotton lawn it's got a really silky finish and like i said it's really high quality so it's got a nice crisp handle to it it has obviously a very 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 small bit of drape but it does hold its shape now it's covered it's got a very white background so obviously it is slightly sheer so it's something to bear in mind either that you wear um, a little vest top or something underneath your chosen garment or you look to line it but what's really special about this fabric is that hopefully you can see it's covered in just all these different types of people um, really diverse different groups of different people um, with different backgrounds like you've got cyclists and divers and then you've even got what else have you got here got someone doing yoga um, Jenny thinks that she's there with her dog cookie yeah there's just so many different people on there which i think is just really fun and makes it really special oh i tell you what my favorite is actually the astronaut i think that's really fun <laughs> so again this is obviously a directional print because obviously the people run um this way but the fabric is nice and wide and like i said it's really luxurious feel again it makes lovely pajamas but i think what it really needs to be made into is what it was originally made into which was a shirt so we picked out today we've got lots of shirt patterns in the shop but we picked out the deer and doe meliot shirt which we've made um well i haven't personally made it but i've seen lots and lots of you online make beautiful versions and obviously you've got the two different sleeve um, lengths as well so depending on what you fancy but obviously longer length would be more versatile for when it's a bit colder but you could go short sleeved if you fancy and it would make a really fun shirt and it would definitely be a good conversational piece when meeting your friend out <laughs> so this is a really really beautiful crepe fabric it's very lightweight and very sheer so it has a really lovely fluid drape and movement this is actually made out of polyester we don't get many polyester fabrics in stock but i couldn't resist this one because i love the pink and green colors on here i love the floral design but then what really spoke to me was the the insects throughout the fabric i just thought were really different um gives it a little different look to it what you would expect from a floral print um so yeah just i thought it was really really beautiful so again obviously it is like i said it's sheer so you would have to think about either lining or wearing like a little vest top or something underneath your chosen garment but it's a very very beautiful fabric nice and delicate and it almost does feel like a silk um despite it being a polyester fabric i really love this it's really beautiful really beautiful colors um, and we thought it would make an amazing sagebrush top by Friday Pattern Company. Um, just because of the type of like with the Bilouet sleeves and the little um, frill details. And you could just wear like a simple vest top underneath. Um, so you could make this little, maybe in a size bigger than what you'd normally make and then wear your a little vest top underneath and it would be really really pretty and again you could it would transition really well throughout the seasons because you could just wear a cardi on top or a warm vest underneath so this fabric is really special i remember being shown it and just falling in love with it because i've just never seen anything quite like this before so it is a cotton fabric it's heavier than a cotton lawn i'd say maybe slightly heavier than a cotton poplin but not as heavy as a quilting weight cotton. So it does hold its shape. It's got some structure to it. It has this beautiful like denim blue colored background. And it's covered in, if hopefully you can see in lots of different tropical animals. And obviously it has got a direction to the print. And I love how they've done, they've printed this fabric. It's almost got like a faded look. So it gives it like a vintage vibe, even though it's not a vintage fabric 
very very pretty so this would work really well for um like a structured skirt you could make it would be really good or um obviously a dress and the pat the sort of dress pattern we were thinking would work well was the upton dress by cashmerette so it's quite a structured dress so even like the avid seamstress day dress that would also work very well in that in this fabric um just because it's got a nice structure to it and it would hold its shape really well and because it is obviously medium weight it's nice and warm for when it does start to get a bit colder and you could pair it a dress with tights with this fabric as well but yeah, this is absolutely beautiful, stunning, stunning print. This is a cotton voile fabric. So it's very lightweight. It is again, a sheer fabric. It's very beautiful, lovely and silky to touch. Almost does feel like it's got silk content in it. Um, and what it is, is it's got this off-white background and then it's covered in this like floral stripe design. And what's really fun is that the floral design has been printed on in a way that almost gives it a very vintage look to it. Um, Jenny said it almost looks like a cross stitch or an embroidered type design. Very, very vintage, lovely, lovely colors. Very, very beautiful fabric and very unusual. It's not something we would normally come across. So the stripes are actually quite big and you could have some really good fun with the placement of how you'd want the stripes to be on your chosen garment. The fabric is nice and wide as well, so it would give you a lot of room to play around with the direction of the stripe. Um, this would work really well for like any sort of, again, you could make a sheer dress where like the wilder and then wear a slip underneath, or you could make again a blouse like, the um, sagebrush top or the blouse that we picked out today um, is the absolutely beautiful avid seamstress it's just called the blouse and it's got some really nice features to it and it has this button down front and like I said you just wear a vest top underneath or layer it as you as you fancy and you could still transition it really well when it does get a little bit colder but yeah this is a very very beautiful beautiful special fabric this is a beautiful viscose fabric it's got a slight crepe like texture to it and it also feels very silky and soft it has a really lovely drape and movement the print is just unbelievable because it looks like it has been painted onto the fabric so it's got a very painterly style to it and it really pops against this dark plum background it's completely opaque so you wouldn't have to worry about lining this one at all and it's nice and wide and there's no direction to the print so yeah this is a very versatile fabric you'll be able to make many many pa different patterns in this type of fabric but the pattern we picked out today for you is the Closet Core Cello. And so with this, it comes in a kind of like tunic dress length and a blouse length. And we particularly love the more billowy type sleeves. So we thought it would work really well as the tunic length with the big sleeves, especially because the viscose fabric would just lend itself to that lovely the drape in the sleeves and it would look really really stunning and again because of this type of colours in this and the fact that it's easily to layer it up it'd be very very good for when it is chillier here in the UK but again you could wear it without tights or layering before it gets a little bit colder but yeah this is very very beautiful <laughs> So thank you for watching. I hope that you love the new dead stock fabrics that are going live on the website as much as we all do in the office. And thank you again for supporting So Me Sunshine. It means the world to us. We're a small business, so every single customer means the world to us. So thank you for watching. Let us know below which fabric's your favorite and what you're planning to make with it. It always gets us excited reading all your ideas in the office. And I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.